Analyzing, finally. I have the wrong screen here, actually. There. What? Okay, okay, let's start analyzing, though. I won't pay too much at too much attention to chat, because, I, you know, I'm gonna focus on watching this. And obviously, I'll be writing down stuff about CDK on my own, but those will be cut for the YouTube video. So first set, I want to analyze uh, Chag versus CDK because I struggle a lot versus Palutena as Wolf. Even though I'm not going to play Wolf in that matchup, I kind of want to understand what goes th uh, through a Wolf player's like head in that matchup. And I'm planning on maybe playing Wolf versus Inkling, which Jag Chag does go in this set. So I really want to get better versus Inkling and understand what uh, what exactly CDK does in that, in that matchup. So first, let's just uh, you know get into it. Which has a good Wolf Inkling Ward too, by the way. Okay, okay. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so CDK. This first dash deck is kind of sus, but it, I guess, guess it can lead to a grab, and Palutena can you know the only punishes you know a grab. Something. Well, he can near. Uh, she can near. Maybe. Yeah, this is this is important. Spacing just out of, outside of near out of shield there, I believe. Even though he just uh, jumped. Uh, aired Axo. Thank you for the follow. A decent combo. Or like good combo there. That's the only thing he could have got. There. That was a, that F tilt. <laughs> that was good recognition there. Yeah. I guess Palutena is hard to hit, and then she can immediately do a drop down punish. There, just watch the miss neutral get up one. Dude, I've talked about this before, but dude, everyone takes neutral text on the platform. Literally everyone. <laughs> Literally everyone. This is good. Uh, dashing away is very important versus Palutena, since her only option to call that out is dash attack. Oh, CDK jump. This should be it, actually. I think he could have done a better edge guard there. Because this is Wolf without a jump. Wolf without a jump is not that good. I played as a roll on plat, so I up here to cover all options. Really? Everyone I played as <laughs> usually good. But here, what he could do, because CDK, his only options are to go to the ledge here, or you know, go above. So he can he can, you know, he can just kinda of threaten first go to go here with a counter, and then he'll die. Or just jump back on on stage and then F smash him. But he does, she does, he doesn't do that, and then he just gets a reversal. Then you know it's back to neutral. Oh, Jack was up, was just about to down tilt. This thing is always I I really <laughs> dislike or like I'm scared to do this kind of option versus Palutena, where they're like you shield the shield situation and then you full jump out of shield because you know they can just near, and then <laughs> Palutena wins the interaction. The trade of near is so big there. So you kind of need to sometimes go for, you know, the jump there, even if the, the trade of Nair is there. Because, you know, uh, if they don't, if the Palutena doesn't Nair, then her other op uh, options are more committal. Uh, here, I think grab was a true punish. I don't know why he didn't grab. Uh, how else do you analyze other wolf players that are a little lower level in the CDG as well? Uh, are you a wolf player, Erdexo? Like... Right now, I'm only doing analysis for uh, subs. Oh, you're a wolf player as well, okay, okay. Like, if you want me to do analysis for you, I only do analysis now, right now for subs. And that'll be, well, you know, I can do the sub analysis in like two weeks. But I don't do that much analysis for others, sorry. Outside of these, obviously. Yeah, kind of chat. The only option, well, there's obviously down smash. To cover the two frame, or like two frame Palutena, but I think that's kind of hard. I don't know, Jack is just not, just not kind of not hitting CDK at all. Wolf is low key, hard to hit if the wolf player has good movement. Here he just kind of panicked, and then got comboed. Up throw is good there. Panic near down, you can't do that versus wolf. Yeah, let me look at this. Um, dash F tilt. Palutena can't punish that there. Maybe he can, uh, you know, dash the out of shield. Maybe Wolf F tilt is really unsafe. 
and shield. Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. I think it's uh, if you're a wolf player, you know, watching this analysis or analyzing the voice yourself is very helpful. Suko, well, welcome. I'm doing well. Hopefully, you're doing well too, Suko. It's your name is like dark uh, blue for me. It's really hard to see with a dark chat background. Well, CD Keller, uh, Tweak, and Larry are the top three American wolves. Myers and Idina is. Palatina is dash attack very fast, so he, uh, she could probably dash attack it out of shield. Oh, okay, let's look at this. Yeah, I can't punish that straight there. What did what did he do? To? So here, what you kind of you can just you know avoid the mix up here and reset the neutral with a jump here, or just roll you know. But he kind of went to pressure. Then CDK realizes the tomahawk grab attempt and misses the wolf flash there. But that was a true combo, I believe. I feel like CDK has the best advantage state of the three. Like in terms of combo game, probably. But I think Tweak is probably the best at holding advantage. So here, this is really a down tilt. It's a, it's a good move, dude. It's so active. Killed, he exploded at 128. That's, you know, kind of big. Isn't it hard to play three characters at such a high level? It is. It, it, it is. But I'm not at my level, I would say. But you know, Tweak does it. I can do it. Like, I believe everyone can eventually become the best if they put enough effort into it or if they have enough passion. So, and my plan is to do that eventually, you know. So. Like we at least in in the contention for it. Oh, he missed the grab punch because of the, of the weird thing there. Well, let's go, let's go back a bit. So this impatient, this could have been much more, but this kind of a weird interaction. Get on that PGR. I think I would be on the PGR if I could constantly attend uh, American events. No, I don't think he's fishing for Wolf Flash. He's just missing the combos. Like here, he just missed the combo. Sapiro, welcome, welcome. Yeah, he's finishing for it. He's kind of, you know, missing the combos. That was good. Upper is super good there, but that Nair would give more reward. <laughs> just, like, just going through Blaster. Oh, that, there he did recognize he couldn't have gone for Wolf fla Flash. Fuck this match. <laughs> Why? That was really good. Look at this here, you know, patient. Respects a Palatinus options here, sees that he jumps, and you know, up tilt if they do it directly, you know, fast falling near up tilt will trade or beat it. Then, you know, uh, goes to the other side of Palatina, so he can't pressure with the bear, you know, then realizes he's late, you know, realizes Chag is a bit scared, you know, and then grabs. That's good. I recently realized how ridiculous Wolf Airbeat is with. Yeah, it is pretty, pretty ridiculous. I realized that we we actually played each other in the European Smash Crew Imitation. I played for Cyprus. Anyways, hope you're doing good. I'm doing good. Who did you play, Styly? I don't remember. There were there's there was like Byleth, Ness, Yoshi, Ike, something. Oh, you played Byleth. Oh yeah, you were the one who eliminated me. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Oh, there he didn't account for a fast fall there. I think you should never commit this much to covering a landing. Or usually it's not, you know, a good idea. You destroyed it. I, I kind of did. Yeah. <laughs> but if, if he, he didn't do it immediately, I think, actually. That was kind of... <laughs> this was so ultimate. Uh, yeah, you finished the job. But this, this, this was so ultimate. This interaction is just panicky. They're both in shield to steel situation. Spore dodge up smash. <laughs> Kind of, you know, fuck spot just canceling all day, every day. Yeah, but there's such an ultimate option there. Oh, Jack was too late. Yeah, I see DK didn't realize that wouldn't combo. I, I think that can combo. Oh, that was nice. Fair shine. Well, he crouch canceled the first fair. I think that uh, kind of helps CDK maybe. I don't know if he reacted to the CC or not. Then that there was something you can't jump like that versus Palutino. Oh, that was good recognition to hit the side B. <laughs> oh, nice. He airs your team really well there. <laughs> that bear was probably missing input. This was obviously good. 
Sp that, like, you know, the slight fade back CDK that does on his aerials is really nice. Even yeah, there he slightly fade backs with his aerials. I'll write that down actually. <laughs> that, or like more on his fares, he slightly fade backs with his nares. I mean fares. The slight fade back. He does on his fares on shield. Is sick. That spa that spacing is super nice. Is Twitch your job? No. Uh, no, it's fine to ask questions. I'll just cu cut them out, you know, for the YouTube video and stuff. But Twitch is definitely my job. I have 41 subscribers, so that's like 80 euros a month or something. I live with my parents and just do school. Yeah, I lost to the Zelda player. I think House or someone to finish the job. Parrying is really good versus Palutena. Uh, you know. First, if you're a Palutena main in the chat, this is... I th today, or like, I call this the Wi-Fi, this option, this option, hi, hi Pierre and Tom, but this option is the Wi-Fi, it's the Wi-Fi, it's pretty good in Wi-Fi because it's so hard to react to, but if you do it, you just, you know, die at this percent, especially, it gives a lot of reward, but it's really predictable, and <laughs> he just does because he does, does that, and if you have watched J Jag actually play online, dude, he fucking spams explosive flame, to me, I don't know what he does online, but dude, explosive flame, it's just broken online. So why, you know, not do it online? But it's so much worse uh, offline. So much worse. The Wi-Fi to me is means the roll behind grab on the neutral getup. That's actually, it's a legit option o o offline as well. It's hard, yeah, it's hard to react to online, so yeah. Uh, the only reason to go for this explosive is getting it on BF, SBF, because if you get hit confirms into it, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like 15. I, I don't know. He, no, I'm pretty sure Jag is like 19. I'm pretty sure he's older than me. Let's check it out. Jag, I think he's like underscore uh, S or something like that. Yeah. No, okay. I'm pretty sure he's like 19. I'm pretty sure he's 19. I can probably do like Chag smash smash PD or something. Yeah, Chag smash PD. I think they'll show his age there. Yeah, he's age 20, dude. He's 20. <laughs> I think Joker is low tier online. I don't know. Joker is like high tier. Just need to camp with him. Yeah, he's 20, dude. <laughs> Joker is definitely not low tier online, he's just, he, he's just playing in a certain way, he's uh, low tier. He looks so young, yeah. Dude, he's older than Leo. He's older than Leo. <laughs> he's, this guy is older than Leo. Joker is fucked in the head online. And for the word. Yeah, because, you know, you can't deal with Joker just running away online. It's actually impossible. Okay, but this is what I was really interested in. Watching, uh, you know, uh, Wolf versus Inkling because I, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, CDK destroys his Inkling. He pretty, he kind of destroyed his um, his Palutena too, but I think he destroyed his Inkling actually harder. What are your thoughts on Sephiroth? High tier, bottom of high tier, not top tier. But yeah, he, he is twenty, dude. Dash attack versus dash attack is monkey. Wait, da dash grab versus dash attack is what? What do you mean, Piero? He could walk into school and not get noticed. Yeah. Okay. And this. Oh, he's doing the rising fares here to call out if he does, you know, bear bear here. I'm pretty sure he, you know, he just preemptively tries to cover it. I mean that he can go for either, and you don't know what what he's going to do out of that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's what you mean. Yeah, I get you. Dude, with punishing with fair with. Uh, like with punishing with fair is so hard with wolf. Oh, the bye bye CDK. What he did here? Okay, this is what I wanna do. This was super nice. Dude, full full jump, uh, like shine there. What did he try to do? Probably shine actually or something. But dude, his shine combos are so sick. Let me write those down. Like fair or a fair or upper into shine is super good. And I need to do that too, because it's, it's a nice extension and can give some extra damage. 
just fair or upper in the shine. It is to extra damage, you know. Uh, that's just how it goes, you know. Uh, thank you for the follow. I'll check who that was in a bit. At lower pros. Nice extra damage. That side view was sick. I wish Wolf players would do that more. <laughs> it was kind of sick. In a wrong way. But dude, he could have died here for that jab. But Inkling goes hurtbox shifts. The slight hurtbox shifts there. Uh, dude, I need to. I need to tomahawk so much more with Wolf. It's so good as Wolf. He's he falls so fast and already uses so many shorter blending aerials. Oh yeah, this is good what CDK does here. You know, a lot of pre preemptive rising aerials to uh, cover Inkling Bear. That's really good. Maybe he could have maybe even jabbed more there. Oh yeah, Gerard uh, as G JS of eighty four. Thank you for the follow and. Alan Requiem, thank you for the follow. What is that after? What is Ink? What? What if Inkling does Rising Bear? He he did the Rising Bear there, but you know it's just you know it, he does it preemptively to call out the Rising Bear too. At least it looks like that. This was nice though. What he does or this full jump breed was kind of whack. I think you should go for a full jump nair here to catch a jump if you want to catch a jump. And then that this he's got jump around that up till and entire was nice. This combo after good a lot of good damage here. Messes up after though. Like look, you can jump versus wolf too much. So how ZDK is catching the jumps is good. Yeah, the backer still committal for sure. That grab was kind of greedy. It was it would only work if he, he would stay in shield. Online I would understand that grab, but not uh not offline. You know, I would love to see Ragna in Smash. Who's Ragna? I doubt the lol must hit. He's dead here. What the heck was that mash, dude? That was insane. He barely <laughs> didn't hit that. What the fuck was that mash? This is, uh, surge him. Who's Ragna? Just Ragna? Is this, like, a... Oh. oh, a blast blue character. He looks cool though. Yeah, he should have been. Who should he have been dead? That match was kind of insane, dude. This is like 10. This is, you know, over a year old, I believe, actually. Yeah. Yeah, Inkling up smash, thankfully, has no priority. So that's good. And you can just kind of let it in there. That option was greedy. Doesn't work anymore. Run up down smash. Why would he run up down smash here? Like he wants to. What did he want to catch here? A dash away? A spot dodge or something? I don't know, dude. Looking kind of sus to me. <laughs> I don't know. If he wanted to catch a dash, he should have just committed to a committed to a roller IMO. Do do. Yeah, good less pressure overall. He kind of matched it, but that's fine. It was high percent anyway, so a lot of risky options for Jag. Chag. Nice. His his drift is really nice here. What I like CDK CD case. Oh, he didn't take that. He should. Uh, Chag is really uh, like missing really easy edge guards. That he, CDK has no timing mix-ups for, pretty much. So he should always get the two frame or just hit him. Inkling can even go for like here. Inkling can go for uh, off stage fair. Oh, he couldn't have actually had time for it. But down tilt, uh, he had definitely time for down tilt. Charlie got top eight at this frostbite. No, he didn't. He got a twenty fifth <laughs> at frostbite <laughs> or something like that. He didn't make it that far. He lost to Kamehame and Samsor. I think Jack charged it for. Uh, Few frames. You mean the F smash? Maybe he did. Nair is minus two, so can't punish that straight up. I kind of agree the two frame attempt. Oh, that was nice what he did here. Like he didn't go directly 
No, he didn't get top 8 at Genesis either, he got 9th. He almost got top 8. He hasn't gotten top 8 at a major. But what he did here, he didn't go straight up. He would have gotten hit by this down to 100% if he got, got uh, went straight up. He got went sl slightly, slightly diagonal, diagonal, if that's the word. And then, you know, hit uh, Inkling there. That's really good. He's kind of doing blasters, you know, he's not doing uh, blasters like uh, grounded blasters, but he's doing jump blasters, which is good, because he wants to get to jump. So that's what, you know, Inkling does, either dashes on the ground or jumps with back air, pretty much. Uh, you see, he realizes Jack is kind of staying on the ground and not moving. <laughs> Dude, these interactions are always so dumb, because, you know, you're at this range, it, you get, you feel so dumb when this happens. This was kind of a nice bait though. I respect it. <laughs> you feel so dumb if you get hit by that dude. It's so annoying. Anyone who has ever got hit by something like that knows the feeling. Oh nice. He, the way he mixes up here. Like it was a fine option by Charlie. I don't know. But the spot was a bit risky but Jack wasn't ready for it. Oh, when did he land? Directly here to CDK, I don't get it. He, like, I don't get when people don't go to platforms in this game, Okay, Like, landing on platforms 90% of the time is to move. Here, go to the platform, you know, and then, get, uh, like, work from there. Either, like, you know, dash into the corner, do an aggressive option off the platform, stay on the platform, stuff like that. You know, go from there. Yeah, missed the timing. Yeah, the jab is hard to punish, <laughs> it covers. Pretty much everything outside of get up attack, but you know, inkling neutral B is also fucking broken. It's a broken move. Yeah, CDK is not forcing the punishes on the backers, which is good. Like he's sometimes you know staying away and playing it safe. It's not looking too good for him right now. Dropped shield, I believe, or tried to try to parry probably the back the back air. So now CDK can make. The comeback actually pretty easily here. He needs to hit, hit one clean fair on his jump or just ground it and then uh, Jack and die. Like that. You know what he does here. Again, the slight drift on the fair. Wolf is broken there. <laughs> because you know, any other character or like only like Warrior or someone else could actually do that drift. And you know, what, 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 what did I say about the uh, one fair? He did. He should have fared there instead of the nair. But here, what, did, what does he, how does he hit Jag? Empty hop pressure is so good with Wolf. I need to fucking use empty hops in, in general more. Like what he does here is so good. Like, you know, he empty job hops in front of him. He thinks he's probably dashing forward or something. Then fares and kills him at 30, what is it, 37? 37, for pretty much middle stage. <laughs> Wolf is so bullshit. <laughs> that was so dumb. Dude, the empty hops, like I learned from versus streaks yesterday too, like the wolf's empty hops are so good because it, they're so fast and he has so many mix-ups for them and so much like uh, options, like how much, like he can threaten with those so easy, easily, like so much, he can put so much fear on the opponent. It's so scary, <laughs> not gonna lie. The empty, the empty hops. From him are so scary. He mixes those up so well. Do -do -do -do. And what else have you pissed? Not gonna lie, I would keep re respect that because CDK has practiced though uh, those kind of options a lot. Do -do -do. But I think that was fair, fair enough. Like you know, he got, you know he baited him. He like you know he asked deed also at the start, and you know everyone has <laughs> had a kind of bullshit in this game. Inkling is consistently bullshit. <laughs> he can like kind of consistently kill some characters. I think Wolf is one of them that she can or they can consistently kill. What was that? Di dependent or completely true? I'm pretty sure it was completely true. I'm pretty sure uh, Charlie has lapped them. Enough to know. 
Nice parry. Parrying is good versus wolf. Oh, that was nice. Inkling can't call out that too well. Like without splat bomb, Inkling's ledge dropping is not too good. But yeah, with splat bomb, Inkling's ledge dropping is really good. Well, the game was actually pretty close. Jack should have won if he if he controlled or did some. Like if he he took kind of like in the last game, he took some dumb risks like with the uh, drop shield on the back air and stuff. He should have just taken the grab or not gone gone for a parry. Could have maybe killed him off stage more, gone off stage more, committed in those situations, uh, like more. In general, just you know, took he should have taken the right risks. But he didn't and lost pretty much because of that. And he got like only a few clean hits on CDK, which is big. Because CDK, whenever he hits Jag, he does so much more damage. Like having a good punish game is very important because it makes your neutral more scary. You know? I love the up throw there because, you know, it puts them off stage or just, you know, puts them in the juggle position. Either one. Which is very good. I love the ledge options. Nice catch. Uh, the fa the, like you, the way he's not forcing the punishes on on a dash or jumps is very good. Just kind of you know, punishing the option after in a way, which is really good. Okay, that was an overcommitment grab. He no way was hitting that. There was also overcommitment edge guard by <laughs> CDK, but he kind of got lucky. Good upper mix up. That was such a scramble. Oh nice, good timing mix up from CDK. Jack definitely is a bit scared. <laughs> here you can notice it in his gameplay. Okay, that was he kinda overcommitted. Like you see from here, CDK is very comfortable because he feel like he won the last game, he kinda outplayed him because he only SD at the start and everything. So you know he you can see he's confident and he's still confident, you know he messed up there, it's like fine. He's still in a very good spot. And Jack is like the one who has more to prove. Because he's coming for losers. I think I believe he lost to CDK earlier. So, you know. There's a lot of stuff that affects people's gameplay. And you can see here who is like confident and who, who like has more to prove. And who is more like scared. Let me check this jump catch. Jack kind of overcommitted there. Can't full hop, yeah. Is CDK doing? Nice combo. Nice. Nair is so good. When someone is coming from like that kind of spot, like coming from above, Nair is so good unless I don't know who which character it is. Who someone who someone is. <laughs> unless you're I don't know. Nair is actually good versus pretty much everyone there. Like which character has like like they can obviously double jump there, but Wolf's Nair is so non keep no so non committal. So it's pretty good. CD gets getting good if he doesn't fall off when offline comes back. I don't see him falling off when he's playing online 24 7 and analyzing and grinding. Wasn't Palutino a better matchup for Jag? I don't know. I have no idea. It, I think it's just, you know, he's more comfortable with Palut uh, Linkling probably. That would have, That's what I would assume. He did better with Linkling last game than Palutino the other game. <laughs> Charlie was fishing for the back airs there, dude. Oh, what Charlie died, tried to do here? He tried to go for the footstool up B. He could have just done an aerial. It probably would have been actually better there. I like the up throws personally. I would up throw there too. Put the opponent above you and maybe at the ledge at the same time. Greedy roller, but the Chag definitely needs those. So Charlie's committing off stage so much. You can see him like having no fear. There, he definitely did fish for a side B. That was a side B he fished for. Another one, you know, he's feeling confident, so those are the simple see I don't think they are. Yeah, I don't get it. what is this, this dash attack. I guess he just thought he wouldn't expect it, then, then he died. <laughs> These inkling games were uh, closer than I remember. Yeah, I can understand him go for going for that, but up smash, is that good risk reward there? And he kind of needs to make a comeback here. What he does again here is nice, you know. He drifts with his jumps, like kind of backwards, so it's... Jack doesn't know for sure he's coming in. 
So that's good. Good reflector there, reflecting the splat bomb and hitting Jag. Yeah, he had been mashing kind of tilts there, so now he jumped. A good mix up. Again, <laughs> I think he thought the Jag wouldn't expect him to do that now. Back throw should kill, right? Yeah. Yeah, Inklings out of shield sucks. So this fair is very good here. Then jump again even. Didn't dash forward, I think that would have been a true combo otherwise. Yeah, Nair is very safe on shield, so Jab is a mix-up after and had good, has good reward. Oh, the whiff punish. Like here, whiff punishing a fair is a myth online. But offline it's very good here. You know, this was a good combo, almost hit the back air. Missed the down smash, still keeps the pressure going. Uh, if he had after the instead of dash attack, that would have been better. Nice near mix up there. Because unlike, like, th these kind of mix ups are good if the opponent doesn't have like an active hitbox who can just you know stuff you out from dashing out of the corner, like Young Link or In Link or anyone who has like a Linger near Wolf even. You know those are they usually do those kind of options when they don't have that you know kind of stuffing option, which Inkling doesn't. Arc a ghost thank you for the follow. Wolf CDK with momentum is so scary. I I agree. Wolf is top in this game probably. When Wolf lands up here, it's just GG basically. Yeah. What happens here? He just drop down near, capitalize on the opponent being on the platform and bears. That was good. Those Inkling games were close. Charlie kind of overcommitted and felt a bit too confident IMO, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> Funny how they still have this video, which has like a million views there. Well, this is an interesting set. It's just like, Charlie did, uh, kind of didn't overcommit, uh, like sometimes he overextended, but overall he played very well IMO. Committed in the right spots. I uh, didn't overcommit in the right, right, right spots too. I don't know, just clean, clean gameplay. Uh, he could have kind of, kind of mashed at the ledge, I don't think he did, did too well there. He could have played better. Che kind of, I don't know, he never committed, he didn't get much out of his hits outside of like a few uh, interactions. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. You know, what I learned pretty much is, you know, don't commit on covering Inkling's jump too much. He didn't, he didn't like try to hit Inkling either, like out of her dash too much either, which is good, which is good. OC Twitch uh, 98, thank you for the follow. And in the Palutina matchup, I don't think you check, just, you know, he played, he just played too scared. Didn't commit enough to, to, you know, to, you know, cover CDK's offense. Because CDK was kind of offensive, I would say, in that set. Okay, this is the other set I want to go over. Are you a wolf main? I am a wolf, a Roy, and a Chrom main. Primarily Chrom, though. I just want to see what he does in the cloud matchup. I mostly want to see what he does versus a character who has good out of shield options. So I struggle versus that as a wolf, pretty much. He could have gotten a wolf flash there. In which situation? <laughs> which situation are you talking about? <laughs> so Spargo, another kid from Mexico, or is he from Mexico? I don't actually know. He is actually 15. He's actually 15, not 20, like check. Um. Oh, see, I believe uh, 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 you shouldn't say that in Twitch chat. That's what I. That's what uh, I believe. The last match in which situation? Uh, so a warning. Uh, please don't say that kind of stuff in in Twitch chat. Uh, have to get up on the platform. He could have, but you know the bear is fine there as well. You know. He, bear was fine there, he could have got the kill anyway. Okay, let's go into the set. So I want to see how he deals with outer shell option pretty much. Also, in the Palutina thing I want to mention, just so weird, like, what I struggle is just, you know, you know, 
he he stayed more grounded. He didn't go for fairs too much. He spaced. He did fairs just outside of, you know, the offensive range. Okay, let's go over this. I really want to know what he does versus a cloud. Okay, uh, I'll see. I'll time you out before we go into this analysis. Uh, because you know, I don't say that stuff. He's on a timer now. Okay, let's go over this now. Nice, that was a good read, but then he immediately let us rever reverse out from there. Hmm. And this is what I want to go over, like here. You know, he reads the dash back. Oh. Like here, obviously, I don't, I don't want to go over, you know, you know too, too in depth. In, like, I don't want to go over every situation which both players have this, what options they do they have. You know, because here we know. Charlie has the option to you know, do immediate out of shield option. Char uh, Spargo dash, dash away, do another move, uh, shield himself, roll, spot dodge, stuff like that. I'm a bozerness man. Blizzard was up, just in time for something weird here to happen, yeah. But dash away is obviously the good move to do here. If you're just, you know, starting, or if the set has just started. Because, you know, get data on how the opponent reacts. But he tried to, you know, side B here, which CDK does call out. And he th probably thought this was a true combo, because I believe it can be a true combo at s a slightly later percent. Uh, he caught... Uh, Spargo got the run off. What the hell did it fare there? Oh, nice. Jump out of shield. Kind of a greedy grab there. Expecting the opponent to stay in place in shield. That's a... You know, you just almost always assume... Unless you know the opponent is scared, you should always assume they move out of shield. Yeah, Charlie, Charlie likes Charlie likes uh, Katara. In if you have seen his tweets about Katara, we're not gonna talk about that on stream. But he he did some weird tweets about Katara. Let's just say that you know. Oh, he almost hit that good uh, good blade beam by by Spargo though. <gasps> This was sick by Charlie. Or like nice, but he missed the execution. He read the roll. <laughs> but he was slightly too slow. That's sad. He could have pee with grabbed. But following Charlie, you should. His tweets are funny. Do you analyze uh, Chrome and Roy? I do. Actually, when I, today I wanted to analyze uh, uh, Wolf because I want to get better with him. Kind of overcommitting uh, Blade Beam there. Overcommitting, <laughs> overcommitting Wolf. <laughs> Wolf Flash. Okay, let's look here. Yeah, he's covering the rolls out of the corner very well, positioning himself the, uh, very well there. Oh, Wolf, Wolf sucks. I kind of, uh, well, it was a fine there to do. Yeah, against characters uh, that have like these kind of up be out of shields, you need to remember you can't tomahawk them. You just can't. It's so risky, especially in this situation where the Spargo has limit here. You know, that is up be out of shield if you try to do a tomahawk option. Like Bayo, Bayo, Roy, Roy. Well, on Roy it's easier, but on like Bayo, Cloud, don't try to tomahawk them too much. Unless you have a like a threatening option that uh, takes space. Like in a different spot, Charlie could have like uh, gone for a tomahawk there. Like he was expecting if, if Spargo was expecting a fair, like a space fair, then he could have gone for a dash grab, but not tomahawk up tilt there. No, Charlie caught the runoff well. And catches the double double jump again. He's. Oh, I need to work on this drift, drift and spacing with fair. He's uh, Charlie's so good at spacing fair. That's his best uh, best thing with Wolf IMO. His spacing with fair is super clean and consistent. His spacing with fair is insane, insane. Oh, I slightly missed that. That's unfortunate. Oh, you can see this is not uh, up to that. This is not a true combo here. So he nears out. <laughs> he nears out of that combo. Or like string. He tried to bait that up B, I believe. He kind of did, but then <laughs> everything is so wonky in that in that the, in those few interactions. But 
Oh, what happened here? This double jump wrist back was so risky. He didn't fast fall or every anything. So he just kind of hit hit out there. With the other opponent is not fast falling, you can just kind of go there, hit them. He should drift it forward though. Risk drifting back there is super risky. What are your thoughts on this matchup? Wolf probably wins. That's what I've heard. Like when a wolf hits Cloud, he just kind of explodes. Yeah, that's what I want. Like you know, like how do you deal with that exactly as Wolf? Because you can't, you know, space stuff on Cloud sh Shield. You still just up your shield, everything you have. Fine, F Smash, you know, F Smash is fine to go there because, you know, it's lagless. Even if it, if it misses, you know. You're still in a good spot. Oh, on the platform, yeah. Went for the grab mix up. Waiting for the spot dodge, that was good. Like, it's just, you know, this is good. He, I think he spaced, well, he didn't space around up B. But up B is the only threatening option, Cloud pretty much has like a threatening button. Nothing else will hit, or everything is too, like, more, uh, too committal. Up B is committal too, so that's why he's spot dodge, expecting a dash grab, very likely. So he just, you know, waited for, for the spot dodge, gets big damage from here. Char like, uh, as far as goes, Dia was really good here. How he did the dash attack. It's kind of ambiguous what which, which you, uh, should you go here. I believe Short of Fair doesn't hit here. Aft tilt seems too far. Up tilt won't hit either. So that was very ambiguous, Di. I played semi 2 with Wolf and his Dia was like that. Yeah, look, he waited for the spot dodge there. Very good. That was good spacing because it makes. I think maybe Max spaced fair, you know. Hey, maybe that's safe from a bear shield, but I'm pretty sure not. It was Max space, dude. Spa spacing is sick. Bad jumpy should be dead. What? What is Sparrow doing? What is Sparrow doing? What is he doing here? He, he had <laughs> no options again. What are people doing? Yeah, Tomahawk Crush Lash. That was good mix up. What are your thoughts on FF7 music in Smash? What's up, Pablo? It's FF7 music in Smash. It's nice. I appreciate Final Fantasy 7 music in Smash. I do. I appreciate it. I really do. FF7 music is nice. I don't actually know who wins this set. Maybe, maybe Spargo wins. That's fine too. CD kind of lost that game because, you know, I don't know, he, he kind of did bad options in disadvantage, really. That was it. His options in disadvantage were bad. He didn't re he hit the reach, but he kind of got reversal after, so he just wasn't clean. He kind of messed up. To me, this matchup is like, should be, uh, like, seems even, but apparently Wolf wins. I like, really want to know why. He probably needs, Wolf probably needs to parry a lot and then get. A punish it from that and then kill a cloud. Yeah, now he didn't get crush last, which is good. Well, <laughs> well, I lied. It was good pressure by Spargo though. Cloud's corner pressure is like top five in the game. I am. His corner pressure is kind of insane. Catches the double jump with the corner, which is a good option to do. But Spargo catches it, then no options. Now he commits. Maybe he saved the combinal option for later in the set, like there. Because now he has a huge lead. And he should win the game if he plays safe enough. Yeah, he's catching the rolls out of the corner really well. CDK is good platform pressure overall. He mixed him up pretty well there. Yeah, like I talked about before, you can't really tomahawk a cloud. You know, they'll, they'll just go for up B. <laughs> Double down tilt. Interesting option. Nice way to, You know, it's important to realize when you're late. And here CDK does it really well. He covers the two options before it because he realizes he was late. What would Wolf do to avoid cross slash? Well, he a lot like that. There, just CDK had lost it, all of his options, so there's a lot of timing mix-ups and everything. Some is untackable though, but that's only at like 120. That was an interesting, good play being mix-up. Spargo's movement is definitely clean, and his advantage. And his disadvantage, you know, 
<laughs> as good as uh, Klaus can get, pretty much. Yeah, I like the red too. That's good side B. Yeah, I would. That there was good there. Is it, like it covers pretty much, you know, everything instead of e immediate jump. Uh, I'll be if Sparrow recovers that way. He should have probably recovered, you know, from above maybe. Do, 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 do. Hmm. See here now, CDK is not overcommitting, playing got a safe. Catches him off the platform really well. That's what CDK is really good at IMO. He's catching the opponent right here, pretty good at coming off the platform, and Wolf is really good at that too, as a, as a character. Oh, nice. CDK's recognition when he can cover, if he has, uh, if he needs to cover the opponent's uh, second option is really good there, because he definitely wouldn't have been on time with the fair there, I'm pretty sure. Maybe he could have actually, but not sure. Not worth trying. 15 seconds were up, or he stuffed the cross slash. Yeah, you can't jump in on Cloud either, or like that. That's huge. That's huge. Let's go back a bit. What see what happened here? Yeah, that's the cross up. It's super hard to react to, even though he could have maybe up the other shield, but it was kind of ambiguous if he could have or not. Sour spot up smash. Kind of misses a grab, and does he very much? What's this grab? He tried to. He, well, that was actually that sucked. Well, what's yeah, he was Charlie was still invincible here, I think. That's so unfortunate. He was still in, invincible there, and went through Charlie, and that's why he, he, that was a bad bear. But still, dude, that's so dumb. He should have got that grab. That's those are one of those things I hate about this game. Charlie was probably invincible still, but he at the, at the end of his roll. Like the way, dude, the way Charlie waits for his opponent is really good. A super often realizes when he's late and holds, holds stage control uh, instead. Instead, uh, dude, my vocabulary in English is so bad. I'm just going back to watch mid tier cloud. Sub edge. Sub Osco too. Yeah, there, he didn't want to commit. Yeah, dude, Wolf Dash like, is so hard to react to. So I, whenever someone misses the punish, punish, I don't blame them too much. Because it's really, really hard to re react to. Yeah, thanks for joining the Discord too, Osk. Er, and Stooley earlier. And if anyone wants to join the Discord, uh, you know, the link is there. Let's go back here. This kind of uh, well, greedy grab. Not, not, not gonna hit there. Good jump away. I didn't want to go in there either. Not gonna risk it. That's huge damage. Why is that a shield poke or just drop shield? I don't know. How's the bitrate going? It's going fine. Should be working now. Oh, he's overcoming. Yeah, so I think he's overcoming with the grab. Yeah. CDK is getting the stage control back very easily. And, and now he's not even trying to hit Spargo's shield, which is good. I just need to be... Dude, I need to be so much more patient myself about, like, hitting the opponent's shield with Wolf. Just, you know, not hit, hit the opponent's shield. Hit where they're gonna go. And like in this last fair interactions here, uh, Charlie did that very well here. You know what he does here, neared where he was gonna gonna maybe dash to, here too, covering if they jump for for like backwards from here, covering that with the near, dashing back in there, gets caught from the blaster, slight misspacing. Nice catches the jump, you know, dash it, catching it, dashing forward. Tries to cover the jump, but tries to cover him walking, like coming off the platform. Again, slight misspacing there, gets the punish anyway, and covers him air dodging in. Also, back before CDK was a feature level player, yeah. That's really good. I like what he did there. I need to, oh, it's so, I need to be much more patient with 
both myself and CDK is also very grounded has always been very grounded very grounded overall not many full hops in general space is just outside of the shield not on shield most of the time unless his space is fair or fair sometimes most of the time his space is like outside of the fair though and that is very or like uh he spaces with fair like max spaces and then most of the time space is outside of the shield have you ever seen cdk's interesting relation with fox he hates him but he still plays him sometimes i've seen his fox stuff what he thinks about fox and stuff dude i need to abuse how good wolf is catching or how uh, platform pressuring <laughs> double spoiler shot b that was so ultimate yeah, covering the opponent's next option. Yeah, dash attack is broken. I don't know what, what did this offline? So here, CDK could definitely could have reacted to the roll away and dash attack or something. What was CDK doing here? He just kind of fared. He could have waited there and committed after. Nice jumps back, which is good. Didn't expect to play me very likely there. That nair is so fast from the from the ledge. That fear was bad. I think he, if he uh, Spargo went for the read, he's your back here. Oh damn! Okay, okay. Good get up attack. Nice. He, you can see Charlie is jumping a lot and like jumping forward or back from the shield. And Spargo is catching onto that. That was an up air shield, but Wolf Factor is still hard to react to. So I don't blame people too much if you're not expecting it. And Charlie messed up the punish there. Well, that was a good air dodge mix up, mix up no offensive option. Yeah, holding stage control, not committing to the back air. He's not also not spamming back air too much. Got for greedy up smash, but fair enough, I guess. No this to whiff and with dash attack. I hate this, this is like, so, so, there are so many slide misspacings here. And also, so, so Cloud goes slightly back here with the downer. I hate her book shift so much. That, that, that's one thing I really want to complain about in this game. Okay, they are talking up till the good. Even though it's risky with his Cloud. A poster check, okay, okay. I should have a good poster here, but... Here, though. Let's go back. Fair grab, fair enough. Did Spar what did Spargo commit to here? Wait, Rising Bear? I'm like, oh, that was kind of a greedy back air read. Okay, I'll. Okay, let's. Before we continue, also, I'll just, you know, ban you. Because. Uh, uh, you know. Because you're, you're, you're posting uh, porn and everything else, so. Uh, that's uh that's a chill. Sub Saf, welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh, there he reacted finally to the tech chase and got 70% from that one tier because Spargo overcommitted. That's so big. The timer ran out. So Spargo actually kinda of went for it. This was like a sick though. This this is the optimal way to punish Limit Cross slash parry the final hit and then punish. This stock was so sick from CDK low key. It's also kind of ambiguous if he could have actually hit a get up attack here, even though Cloud's is, the get up attack is huge. So the after match was nice. That was very good stock by CDK. That was basically zero the death. <laughs> okay, this was Charlie tried to fair there, I believe. <laughs> really, really greedy fair attempt. I hate this combo so much. Backyard cross is just 40%. Charlie overcommitted and then kind of dashed forward for no reason. Probably tried to catch the landing but was way too close there. Should have waited for the op uh, offensive option. <laughs> Super greedy there. Then, <laughs> because Charlie's kind of mashed on him. And then <laughs> see Sparrow got 77 out of that. Because Charlie was just really impatient. 
<gasps> That's huge. That was good jump out of shield. Rifted back. What, what was that? That's true combo though. Oh, nice. I respect the attempt. Greedy down there to the platform. Oh, oh yeah, that arrow just slid above the ledge. He could have died. Yeah, Wolf FT is hard to react to, so I respect and kind of understand him missing the punish. But this is scary. Limit here. Dude, though. Oh, he, the way he, he overcommed it so hard here. But that was a good narrow shield there. That bear could have hit, but he slightly missed paste. But this, what's he hitting? What's he hitting? He's hitting nothing, and then he gets reversal and loses limit because of that. And then dies because he's always hard overcommitted on covering CDK's landing. He expect him to drift off stage, which he did do earlier, but that's such an overcommitment. Hard to hard read an option. And in that kind of situation, which is not, you know. You know, not a good, good not, not a good look. If you didn't know, CDK is one of the highest opinions of Cl on Cloud. Oh, really? I didn't know. I think Cloud is pretty, really good. I think Cloud is high here. Falling down to Cloud after he's out here. <laughs> Say when do, doing it to Ying and getting hit for 55% for no reason. Yeah. It's a, a lot of characters have, you know, that kind of stuff. Like, you know, a lot of, a lot of characters have that kind of B if you try to fall down and then they'll just up you again or something. You know, he kind of tried to fall fair there. Spyro was patient. Missed parry there. Cloud is almost as good as Wolf. Oh, really? I don't think he'd be. I don't think he would say that anymore. I don't think Cloud can be top ten. I be. I think he thinks Cloud Wolf is top ten. Maybe I'll ask him about it. Also, in the last game, uh, Spargo got a zero to death at the start of the game, and. <laughs> Try just kind of zero to death him back because these characters kind of fuck each other, each other up in disadvantage. But Wolf probably has a better neutral overall that won't kill you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's that's a thing. Sour Nair, Sour Nair. I just write that down though. All the combos he does, I know most of them, but I just write those down when I'm watching, you know, the thing happen. Jab locks with near into near, and then finishes with anything, pretty much. Depends depending on the percent, he'll finish with a different move. When you had a cloud, what? I had a cloud face. What do you mean? I have never played cloud more than. Just joking around with him pretty much. He's kind of fun to play, it feels sometimes clunky though. Oh, yeah, it sounds like Spargo just goes for those dodge matches. It's kind of okay to go for them. He should have punished him for that though. Cloud is funny though. What, why did he get the dash attack again here? Why oh, he just kind of drop shield? Well, he, just, he could have actually died from the dash attack. Because he could have, when Charlie could have charged up smashed him, and he had rage, so he could have, uh, Cloud, uh, Spargo would have probably died. Yeah, he kind of failed to follow up on that, but then it caught his jump. CDK really wins this game? Spargo seems to have so much control. That athlete really missed. It was kind of big. Nice, good control by Spargo here. CDK always does those options, those aerials out of the ledge so fast. It's so hard to react to them. Like it's, it's so good. I need to abuse that. Uh, just drop near and very super fast from the ledge. It catches. The opponent of guard easily, whatever. The, the wording is not that important there. Cloud is worse, but I think some things about Smash 4 Cloud was cooler since he was more versatile. Yeah. Cloud was cooler in Smash 4 for sure. Oh. 
mean, what happened here? Is there's gonna drop a shield? Or he jumped out of shield. Kind of a risky option to do in that um, from that kind of position, like looking at where Spark was positioned. He should have just gone for fair grab, yeah. Like here. The eyeing it up. That's good. I am always better to, you know, get into a kind of a juggle position. For in that cut from that kind of angle. Then get put in a text situation because you could die. Charlie gets the back air there really well. Wolf up there does so much damage, dude. Oh, he tried to read the tech in. This was a very unique punish here. I think, <laughs> obviously, Cloud Dash attack is very unsafe. Just back air there. Possibly edge, free edge guard? No. Bad get up attack should have died from a charge up smash. Slide this charge up smash, but didn't. Nice, good parry, and then after tilt after. Really good, really good. I need to work on that. That's really good versus Cloud. Nice. Oh, he just, Spargo jumped from that in that position. This is the, like, what Spargo does here, he jumps forward versus Wolf. That's the last thing you want to do versus that character. That's what Wolf wants you to do. Jump forward versus Wolf? Yes, please. Mr. Punish there. Spargo is giving him too much. He's just kind of... No, after losing the huge lead he had this game. Is he dead, right? No. Oh, that was good. Spargo just kind of gave the lead away. Like, going for way too many greedy reads. That's Spargo's really bad habit, IMO. He goes for way too many greedy reads. Okay, that's it for analysis today. We'll go into, you know, we'll go into weird battles now.